As a business owner, you would never accept a full-time employee sitting in your office and only being utilised for part-time hours. But when it comes to assets, for some reason, we're not quite as strict with them. But the key to profitability in small businesses is to be able to sweat your assets. And that means that you need to generate as much profit from that asset as is possible before you need to invest in new equipment and scale up. So today I'm going to give you six ways that you can sweat your assets and make them pay. Now before I get started, let's just clarify exactly what I'm referring to here when I say an asset. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to call an asset anything like equipment, machinery, vehicles, anything like that, even property, where you've made a long-term investment on something that you intend to keep in your business and use for a number of years. And of course, it's incredibly important to be tracking asset utilization. If it's a van, for example, what's the maximum amount of miles that that van could do in a year and how many does it do? Or if it's a machine, how many hours could it work versus how many hours does it work? They're the kind of KPIs that small businesses need to be tracking to make sure that they are maximizing their profit and they know where they're underutilizing assets that they are paying for. So let's kick off with number one. And the first one applies to business premises. And when you're taking on a business premises, particularly if you're taking a premises which you're aiming to grow into and maybe bigger than your needs right now, then the most obvious thing to do is, of course, make sure that you're allowed to sublet some of those premises. Assuming that it is okay with your landlord that you sublet some of your commercial property, then this could be a really great way of bringing in some extra income and just reducing the burden of having a slightly bigger premises than you may need right now. Now, closely linked to subletting premises, it's also an idea of how you can utilize your assets to potentially rent your assets out to other businesses too. Now, a really fantastic example of this is a transport business. If you're a haulage business, then you could potentially rent your tractors or trailers on days when you're not utilizing them, particularly for the busy supermarket runs. There is never enough tractors and trailers to deal with those. So you could rent some of your equipment out and bring in extra income when you're not utilizing it. Now, my third tip for sweating your assets is most suited to businesses that are looking like they're getting to the maximum capacity of their assets within their normal working hours. So of course, we still know there are a lot of businesses out there that work nine to five, but if you've got machinery, particularly if you're in a manufacturing business, for example, then working nine to five means that you're actually only utilizing that asset for a small proportion of hours in the day. So consider changing your working hours. And even if you can add a, an hour onto the start or end of your workers day, then this could dramatically increase your output without having to buy any new machinery. So my fourth tip for sweating your assets is to consider scheduling maintenance and servicing for out of your normal hours. Now, a lot of the businesses that I talk to shy away from doing this because often there's additional fees, particularly if you need to bring external engineers or mechanics in to service your equipment. And therefore you might pay a premium if you try to get those engineers and mechanics out on weekends, for example, or in the evening. But if you have to take a vehicle off the road or take a machine out of use for an entire day or even longer to get it serviced, then actually you need to weigh up whether it's worth paying a slightly higher fee for doing that out of your normal hours so you can continue keeping that asset in operation in your peak time. Now, my fifth tip for sweating your assets is to decrease the products that you are offering. Now, this might seem a bit counterintuitive to growing a business. I recently looked at the finances of a window cleaning business and their business model was that they had vans that they kitted out with equipment for cleaning patios, cleaning gutters, and then they would have the old style equipment of ladders and buckets for cleaning windows. Now, the equipment for cleaning patios and gutters, etc and even roofs was actually quite expensive equipment and on an hourly basis that earned far more profit than the manual work of cleaning windows. 75% of their work was window cleaning and every time they were cleaning a window they had their assets in their van not making them any money whatsoever. So actually, as a strategy, what this business needed to focus on was increasing the amount of customers that they sell those services to, those high ticket services of patio cleaning and gutter clearing, 
and reduce the number of customers that they are only doing window cleaning for. Because that way they can make sure that they are utilizing those expensive assets as much as possible and then fill in any spare time they've got with window cleaning, which is a lower ticket item. And my final tip for sweating the assets in your business to increase your profitability is to actually increase your product range. And a really great example of how to do this would be if you are a manufacturer by simply changing the tooling on your machine, you can produce different products without having to invest in new machinery. So if there's limited demand for a certain product range and you can just tweak something and turn it into a different product, then this could be a really great way of increasing your profitability and reducing the downtime of your equipment. And another industry that this works really well in is also the restaurant and hospitality trade. You know, the amount of pubs and restaurants that now do breakfast as well as evening meals or cafes that open in the evening as wine bars. This is a really fantastic example of how businesses are sweating the assets that they've got, the assets of their kitchen and their building that are incredibly expensive. So you wanna sweat that asset for as many hours in the day as is possible and that's a surefire way to increase your profits.